Live from the Canadian capital, this is the GBN Television News. GBN, covering you from the Grenadine Island chain to Brooklyn, New York, via the World Wide Web on www.gbn.gd. The news headlines comes to your compliments. Nexa Credit Union, with you wherever your road leads. From GBN, this is Network News for Thursday, October 19, 2023. In the headlines, no heroes named in the inaugural National Heroes Day. Injured during the Grenada Revolution, Alexis Simon seeks help to get a new prosthetic arm. The Canadian leader calls for unity at first Canada CARICOM summit. Also in the news regionally, the Bahamas blasts the European Union for using outdated data to place it on tax haven blacklist. Plus in the sports news, Cricket West Indies announces increase in prize money and bonuses for regional competitions. The news on National Heroes Day. The first segment of the news comes to you compliments. Soft weave, bathroom tissue. Have you heard about the new soft weave bathroom tissue with Total Hygiene? As hygiene and safety have taken center stage, a bathroom tissue is now manufactured with three different technologies to offer the best protection for you and your family. UVC light technology for a safe and effective disinfection process, eliminating 99.9% .9 of microorganisms. Also, production at high temperatures, killing all types of germs and bacteria. And it's pH controlled with delicate fibers to prevent irritation for even sensitive skin. Soft Weave Total Hygiene Bathroom Tissue. Available in supermarkets and shops island-wide. Visit Soft Weave Caribbean Facebook or Instagram pages for more information. Good evening, I'm Ken Roy Batiste. For those who are too young to know much about what happened, on October 19 and 25, 1983, the reports presented today by Catholic priest Father Sean Doggett serve as a valuable learning experience for those getting more acquainted with Grenada's history, the painful reminder of yesteryear for those still grieving. My colleague Cherry and Blackman Stephen is this report. 40 years later, the unknown whereabouts of the bodies of former Prime Minister Maurice Bishop and others remains a painful barrier to the achievement of closure and the much-needed healing of pain and grief for their families and friends, as acknowledged by Catholic priest Father Sean Doggett. Years of speculation and questions remain, and the only details in hand are what came out of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission in 2006. It's an unnerving recollection of details that evokes bitter emotions for families still in mourning. On the night of the 19th of October, the bodies were taken from Fort Rupert to Camp Fedon, where they were placed in a trench and an unsuccessful attempt was made to burn them. The trench was then filled with earth and the bodies remained there until the 9th of November 1983 when they were exhumed by the U.S. Army Graves Registration Team, which, I quote, placed them in four body bags and stored them in a temporary morgue facility without refrigeration. The attempts to bring closure to families and to bring clarity to history continue to hang in a balance. Where then is the truth about the disposal of the bodies? I believe it is to be found in the opinion of Dr. Bob Jordan, the person in charge of the anatomy lab at that time, who suggested that they were incinerated in the incinerator attached to the, to the anatomy laboratory of St. George's University. The Catholic priest acknowledged that Grenada made some progress over the years but admits that our family lives leave much to be desired. Together, 
We must decide on the way, on the way we are to go as we move forward towards the celebration of 100 years of independence. Must our political life always be confrontation? Can we not aspire to a, cons to a way of consensus and support? Can we resolve in our religious life to be less self-righteous, less denominational, denominational, and more appreciative of the core Christian values that we all aspire to? Where are we going? To what do we aspire? What are we building? What is the destiny we want to reach? Questions and statements that may need some consideration by all as Grenada moves forward. Cherry and Blackman Stephen, GBN News. It was a day of remembrance as many Grenadians gathered at the Kirani James Athletic Stadium to reflect on what transpired in October 19, 1983 and what led to the killing of former Prime Minister Maurice Bishop and several of his cabinet colleagues. As Grenada commemorates its first National Heroes Day, GBN's Rina Per Thomas spoke with spectators at the official event and what the national holiday means to them. We are here at the National Stadium where Grenadians far and wide are gathered to be part of the hosting of the island's very first National Heroes Day. The day falls on the 40th anniversary of former Prime Minister Maurice Bishop and his colleagues who was gone down at Fort George on October 19, 1983. So what does Heroes Day mean to Grenadians? We spoke to some of the participants. Maybe it was not the distraction of the car, the boys and the character out of being on the fort. And who knows, maybe I would not have been alive today. So today, I mean, is a special day. I'm happy that that is dedicated a, a holiday. So as we reflect back on what happened in 1983, that it should not reoccur in Grenada no times forever. The one thing that I would um, recognize in itself is the importance of the day, um, the recognition of the day, tragic as it may, and certainly the recognition that this current government um, had the gumption to declare today a national holiday. Um, it means a lot. I'm certain that it means a lot to the people of Grenada. It certainly means a lot to the friends and families, especially of, of, of those who lost their lives. Uh, October 19, 1979, that was the year that I was born. So. Okay. Thank you. For honesty, for and for It's a magnificent name because it tells that we celebrate people who cleared the way for us, as I said. October 19th was, I was in the army and I was in uh, Richmond Hill, keeping duty up there. And what was been turned down in the fort, well, no one, no one in the world will agree or will like it. And, it's tragic events that happened there surprise the world. Um, for the day called the Heroes Day, I think I think it is fitting simply because um, whatever it worked, um, people understood very much what was happening during the revolution, and people died. Um, Unceremoniously, people died on 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 the foot and elsewhere. And I think uh, a lot of people fought for the country, um, knowing exactly what was happening for the country through the revolution. Um, so on this day, I think people should be recognized um, who would have fought hard um, for the benefit of many many things that occurred um, during that time, and even things that we are now benefiting from. The inaugural National Heroes Day does not involve the naming of national heroes. Instead, the day is dedicated to remembering and commemorating the events of October 19, 1983. Beverly Tellisford reports. 
Today, Grenada celebrates its inaugural National Heroes Day on October 19th, marking a significant milestone for the country, 40 years after the events of October 19, 1983. Contrary to expectations, this momentous occasion does not involve the designation of any national heroes. This was clarified by Gail Purcell, a member of the National Organizing Committee. It was indicated from the outset that there would be no naming of any national hero for 2023. This inaugural um event is really just a focus on on the events of October 19th, the tragic events of October 19th, and commemorate those events uh, in, a, in the remembrance that we have reflected through um, Ms. Alexis's presentation. Purcell said while the decision to forego the designation of National Heroes for the first National Heroes Day is an approach that allows the country to pay tribute to the events of October 1983, the naming and recognition of National Heroes should begin in 20. 2024. Heroes Day itself will really be fully rolled out over the course of the next year. Um, it would give an opportunity for the review and consultative process with the general public um, to to discuss and and to discuss and, and highlight what the criteria, the process will be. And I, I know there has been quite a bit of discussion around that. So it's just a clear that there, would, there, there has not been any designation of a national hero to be marked on this day, October 19, 2023. The intention is moving forward for October 19, 2024. The process and the foundation will be laid during that period. She elaborated that the process of naming heroes would involve Grenadians in the decision making. It will be a consultative process and it will give an opportunity for the citizens of the country to, to air their views share and that to be considered in the final um, decision making. So that The activities of the day began at 9 a.m. with an ecumenical service at the National Stadium to reflect and remember the lives lost. At 1 p.m., the solemn tolling of bells echoed across the nation, accompanied by a moment of silence as Grenadians paid homage to the fallen. A candlelight vigil to mark the end of the activities is on the way at the Carnage. Reporting for GBN News, Beverly Meanwhile, as Grenadians ponder on the people they consider national heroes, many are seeking clarity on the criteria for being named a national hero. Comes up the day. Based on your definition of a hero, that you read the dictionary definition. I am not certain that um, what the, 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 the on the 4th and the 19th mm -hmm. may be considered as genuine heroes by many Grenadians. Um, some folks may tell you they were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. So while their lives are valuable, and um, I, some of them I knew personally, many of them I would say, I think that by choosing that day to make it Heroes Day, we are saying very loudly that these people are all heroes because we chose that day. I'd like to know the, the criteria, written criteria for what constitutes a hero, not simply your definition. It has to be established. I would like to know, and I think the people of this air country will also like to know, the selectors who in the final analysis, analysis will make the selection for the final list. Heroism may be displayed in different fields of human existence and no specific date with regards to the cut off point for the selection of heroes should be set. And above all, the date for heroes day should not be tied with any political event. We wish um, Mr. Eric Matthew Gary as one of the heroes, but there were some people who helped on the night to go up in the dark place on the fort and sing from the national choir. I feel they are heroes too because they had to go out through the night in the old teacher's college. Mr. Masson too and all have to be there.
here and tune with candles. Meanwhile, president of the Institute of the Black World 21st Century, Ron Daniels, who was an associate of the late Prime Minister Maurice Bishop, reminisced on how the deaths of Bishop affected him emotionally. He said the impact of the past in our former Prime Minister was not only felt locally, but also regionally. I remember that day wallowing on the floor crying like a baby because we knew and loved not only Maurice Bishop but the Grenadian people. We saw that we were all Grenadians because of this great revolution that had sprung up and had developed. And so that wound has festered for some 40 years. But as we also say in the church, there is a biblical saying that truth crushed the earth will rise again. Mr. Daniel was one of the many speakers at the official ceremony of National Heroes Day this morning. He thanked Prime Minister Deacon Mitchell and his cabinet for the decision to declare October 19 a national holiday. And so we are profoundly thankful to the vision and courage of Prime Minister De Deacon Mitchell for his courageous decision. 40 years later, to begin the process of healing, of healing, of healing that must be here in this nation. And the resurrection, the resurrection and inspiration to a new generation that can build a more promising future for the masses of our people here in Grenada, the Caribbean, and the Pan-African world. Up next in Network News on National Heroes Day, the Canadian leader calls for unity at First Canada CARICOM Summit. Stay with us. Request, repay, repeat with Arisa's FlexiCredit Evergreen Loan Facility. Qualify for a flexi credit with limits up to $25,000 or use your home equity to qualify for more. Extra cash at your fingertips whenever you need it. Accessed using your debit card and managed using Ami, Arise's mobile internet experience app. Flexi credit allows you the flexibility to top up to your approved limit any day, any time. Already a member? Send us a WhatsApp on 423-4987. New members join today to apply. Request, repay, repeat. Use your Flexi Credit for vacations, shopping, wedding, general expenses, and more. Arisa loan terms and conditions apply. Arisa Credit Union, your financial freedom, your future. Your new Grenleg bill is even easier to read and still has all the valuable information you need to track and manage your usage. Hey mom, okay your friendly tech support is here. So you got the new Grenleg bill? Let's take a look. The new bill makes it even easier to see your bill total, the due date, and much more. And take a closer look. It actually is a lot easier to understand. Let me show you. You can still see exactly what the charges are for, but in a great new format, it even shows how the cost of generating and delivering the electricity to you is calculated using your actual usage. And mom, let Lucy know she can check out Grenleck's new Understanding Your Bill video. Anyway, look who says hi and see you soon. Your new Grenleck Bill, easier to understand and easier to track your usage. Let's get back to school with Dutch Lady. Spend $10 or more on Dutch Lady products, scan the QR code, enter your name, address, telephone number, receipt number, and place of purchase at any of our outlets. Or online to enter for a chance to win. Shop and voucher valued at $1,000 for school supply. Free internet for three months. Free private tutoring for three months. Promotion valid from September to October 2023. Terms and conditions apply. Visit participating outlets and get ready to win big with Dutch Lady. Dutch Lady, building stronger families. 
Grenada. The moment we've all been waiting for is almost here. Our own indomitable senior women's national team is gearing up to clash with the U.S. Virgin Islands. The iconic Karani James Athletic Stadium is the battleground. On Wednesday, October 25th, kickoff is at 4 p.m. sharp. And trust me, this is one you won't want to miss. We're not just unbeaten in League C. A victory now will skyrocket Team Grenada straight to League B in the CONCACAF Women's Gold Cup qualifiers. And let's not forget our shining stars, the unparalleled Nia Thompson and the dynamic Malia Ramdani, both voted into the best 11 players in the last round of matches in League C. Tickets, adults 20, children pay 10. The stakes are high. The excitement electric. Our girls need your support. Grenada versus U.S. Virgin Islands. Wednesday, October 25th at Karani James Athletic Stadium. A match of destiny. Be part of the magic. Be part of the history. For a limited time, the NLA has dropped all of the 2X balls from the multi-X draw. This means that you, our valuable players, have greater chances of multiplying your winnings up to five times more in our 2X drop promotion. Yay! And that's not all. As an additional bonus, there will be fewer free play or FP balls to draw from too. Now you have more reasons to add multi-X to your playway bets. Yay! So value your dreams, win your way, and multiply your winnings up to five times more in the NLA's 2X Dropped promotion. This promotion is extended to Monday, the 20th of November, 2023. Must be 18 years or older to play. NLA, making your dreams come true. You want to get an insight into your life? Are you willing to find astrological solutions? Master Shivrudra, the world's best psychic and spiritual healer with competency in other services too. He has guided many people who are going through a situation to find solutions to their problems and use astrological remedies for positivity. He provides services to get your ex-love back, negative energy removal, family problem solutions, health problem, and many more. He located at Grenada DT, George's. Call him or what's up plus one for seven three five three seven five nine three nine. Served Grenada for decades, we are the number one and largest electrical supplier. Hi, welcome to Sunny Electrical. How may I help? We offer electrical wiring accessories, tools, and appliances for all residential, commercial, and industrial applications, which is what we are known for. And we expanded our products with new innovative ways to modernize your home. New homeowners will be captivated in our lighting showrooms. Some of pendant lights here, these are very multifunctional because they can work for kitchens, living rooms, bedrooms. We have a wide selection of lighting, ranging from indoor to outdoor and solar. We are also available for site visit services to assist you with selecting the perfect light for your forever home. We are located at Dusty Highway in Grand Anne, St. George. Sudden Electrical, best value, expert advice, quality products. We hope to see you soon. Building or renovating your home or business? Why not use clean, renewable energy? Install solar panels to power your home and office and see your energy costs go down and your savings go up. Using renewable solar-powered energy protects our environment, reduces our carbon footprint, and slows the devastating impact of climate change. Republic Bank can help to finance construction and renovations that make use of renewable energy. Visit any Republic Bank branch and ask about renewable energy financing options today. Republic Bank, we're the one for you. Grenada, get ready. A new season of the Grand Leg Debates is coming. Informative, impromptu, bright young minds, sparking powerful ideas. The Grand Leg Debates, September 2023. Tune in.
101 reasons for you to shop at Courts now. Get up to 35% off selected items store-wide. Save on select lounge sets, fridges, stoves, washers, mattresses, smart TVs, and more. Get what you want today with no cash and make your first payment in 90 days. Plus, stay protected for up to four years with Super Shield Extended Warranty. So there's 101 reasons to shop at Courts. Courts, bringing value home. Promotion runs from September 25 to October 23, 2023. Conditions apply. My name is Alimaka Motley. I've been here doing nails since 2017. Me being self-employed, I have realized that paying the NIS benefits me now and even when I retire. By the time I'm 65, I will be receiving contributions back from NIS. So I benefit because I'm self-employed. Anything can happen. If anything happens to you while you're at work, you've got a bad cold, you have the COVID, you have dengue, you have all these diseases that's plaguing us at the moment, NIS will um, be giving you back some form of money when you're ill. So I would encourage all small business persons to sign up with NIS now. Climate change is real, bringing hotter days and less rain. Less rain means less water, so it's crucial for us to conserve water at home. When washing my vehicle, I use a bucket with rainwater that I have stored. This is how I save water. What are you waiting for? GBN leads, the others follow. This segment is brought to you by Republic Bank. Building or renovating your home or business? Why not use clean, renewable energy? Install solar panels to power your home and office and see your energy costs go down and your savings go up. Using renewable solar-powered energy protects our environment, reduces our carbon footprint, and slows the devastating impact of climate change. Republic Bank can help to finance construction and renovations that make use of renewable energy. Visit any Republic Bank branch and ask about renewable energy financing options today. Republic Bank, we're the one for you. Hello again, National Heroes Day is a time for reflection and commemoration of the events that took place in October 19, 1983. Among those deeply impacted by such events is Alexis Simon, who, 40 years later, is seeking to regain a sense of comfort and normalcy in his life. Having lost his arm during those events, Alexis Simon is now looking to restore his physical capabilities with the help of a new prosthetic arm. Simon was among the injured on Fort George on October 19, 1983, when then Prime Minister Maurice Bishop and supporters were assassinated in a coup that prompted the U.S.-led invasion of Grenada a few days later on October 25. In the face of adversity, he remains determined to overcome his challenges. He has set his sights on obtaining a new prosthetic arm, which would not only provide him with the ability to perform daily tasks, but also offer a renewed sense of independence and confidence. I am, I am in dire need of a prosthetic hand, and I know the prosthetic hand and them are very expensive. But I really would like some form of help in getting a new prosthetic hand. Simon says with the support and assistance of organizations and the community, he is determined to obtain a new arm. He details some of his needs. This lower part which I'm holding up right now, that was, that was done in 32 years ago actually, 32 years ago, that was done in 1991, so it's 33 years ago, and the upper part was done in 1995. I traveled with a prosthetic hand to England and they said that they can repair the upper part for me instead of I purchasing a new prosthesis just like this one. The upcoming Heroes Day holds a special significance for Simon who welcomed the holiday. I must applaud them for taking this bold initiative to making October 19 a holiday. Following government's announcement on September 19th, October 19 will be observed as a public holiday for the first time. Reporting for GBN News, Beverly Telesford. 
Of the news, the three-day Canada CARICOM summit, which brought together Caribbean leaders with their Canadian counterparts, ended on Thursday with the announcement of a strategic partnership to further strengthen cooperation between the two sides. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau co-chaired the summit, which began on Tuesday, alongside Prime Minister of Dominica, Roosevelt Skerritt, the current chair of CARICOM. Today, we're bringing our relationship and our friendship to the next level with the launch of the CARICOM Canada Strategic Partnership. Deepening and strengthening our relationship will help us tackle urgent challenges together, creating good jobs, ending poverty, growing the middle class, making life more affordable, fighting climate change and protecting the environment, including protecting our oceans, which I know is vital for the Caribbean small island and coastal states, and building, of course, a secure, peaceful hemisphere and a secure, peaceful world. It is now more clear than ever that economic policy is climate policy, is security policy, is social policy. In his opening remarks, the Dominican leader noted the region's traditional reliance on Canada to advocate for and promote its interests in international fora where it does not have a voice. We will also work to strengthen our multilateral cooperation on regional and global issues. Innovative and comprehensive financing mechanisms have been proposed in various fora to shape a resilient future. This includes the Bridgetown Initiative, a beacon of hope in our journey towards reform of the global financial architecture and access to financing. We urge Canada's continued support in this regard. Trade remains a critical engine for the growth and development that will secure the region's financial and economic future. Bringing governments and business leaders together in a round table on trade and investment will allow us to outline our ambitions, share insights, and build alliances for sustainable and resilient economic growth. High on the agenda was the existential threat of climate change. CARICOM is looking to Canada to ramp up its advocacy for reforming global financial institutions so that smaller states can access funding required to tackle climate change. The Canada-Caribbean Summit wrapped up today with a focus on opportunities for Canadian investment in Caribbean countries as well as boosting trade. It was was the first of its kind to be held on Canadian soil and discussions centered around the theme strategic partners for a resilient future. For GBN News, I'm Nisha Paul. International Credit Union Day celebrations were held on Wednesday this year due to the October 19 holiday. GBN visited the Pearls Air Strip where representatives from the 10 credit unions gathered the activities. The 75th anniversary of International Credit Union Day was celebrated under the theme celebrating the spirit of the global credit union movement. International Credit Union Day has been celebrated on the third Thursday of October since 1948. Because October 19 was declared a holiday in Grenada, commemorative activities were held on Wednesday at Pearl St. Andrew. Randy Cadet, president of the Grenada Cooperative League, said Wednesday's celebrations were only part of a host of activities within the 10 credit unions in Grenada. This is also Financial Literacy Month. Uh, the credit unions during the course of the month will have different products, they have different services, different promotions. We are just highlighting today because of the significance internationally. 75 years of International Credit Union Day, so we say, you know what, let's come to Pulse. Let's bring Grenadians together in the spirit of camaraderie, in the spirit of togetherness, in the spirit of credit unionism. And that's why we are here, to commemorate and to celebrate today. Can it addressed what he referred to as a misconception that the credit unions are in strong competition with the banks. In the credit union movement, we believe in financial inclusion. We do not necessarily see ourselves competing with the financial institutions that are called the banks, but we see ourselves complementing them. So for example, customers, Grenadians, they have options. They can either decide to go to the commercial banks or they can decide to come and do business with the credit unions. So as I said, we do not see ourselves as competitors, but 
we see ourselves as complementing uh, the financial sector because we believe in financial inclusion. On the topic of promoting inclusion between the financial institutions and local cooperatives, the president encouraged Grenadians to form small cooperatives as a means of easily accessing financial assistance from the credit unions. No, we believe we believe that for the economy to really strive and thrive well, we have to grow the cooperative sector, not just the credit union sector. So we talk about the farming community, we talk about the fishing, the vendors. We are asking Grenadians, form yourselves into cooperatives and you can find some financial assistance within the credit union because the credit union is a cooperative. And we believe that because Grenada is so dependent on the efforts of every individual Grenadian, if we pull our resources together, if we form ourselves into cooperatives, then we, we, can, we can make it happen. Reporting for GBN News, Beverly Tellisford. Two cherished groups of people are the focus of this evening's GBN I Saw. A good eye catches all. GBN I Saw is brought to you by Clevision. Life is beautiful if only you can see it. Clevision Eye Center helps you do just that. We provide expert service, classy eyewear, and cutting-edge technology, all with a quality customer experience. See better, feel better, and look better. Meet us today at clairvisiongrenada.com or call 444-0055, WhatsApp 409-0055, or follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Clear Vision Eye Center. Let's see life and the world with a clear vision. Featured in tonight's I Saw are the students of the Laborie Mennonite School as they perform a musical piece, letting their elders know that they are looking up to them and learning from their every action. When I grow up. is entitled when i grew up i want to be just like you we thank our citizen journalist for that eye-opening submission send us your photo and video submissions via whatsapp at 405-3052 or our other social media platforms Coming up in the sports news, Cricket West Indies announces increase in prize money and bonuses for regional competitions. What does it take to be an amazing woman? Lots of me time. Amazing women are classy, fancy, and a little sassy. It's the drink for me. Cheers. Sometimes you've got to show them who's boss. Alpha male? Nah, alpha females are more amazing. Cheers to secure in the bag. We make time for ourselves, for work, friends, and we certainly make time for passion. We're simply amazing. Amazing cream liqueur for the amazing woman in you. your playway winnings by adding multi x to your regular playway bets to win up to five times more imagine winning as much as one thousand two hundred dollars instead of two hundred and forty dollars with a ten dollar playway bet by simply adding multi x place your playway bets from one dollar to ten dollars or in increments on your favorite playway symbols or numbers then add the multi x option at the same value to win two times three times five times 
more. Or free plays. With Multi-X, you must bet the same amount wagered on your regular playway bets for your winnings to be multiplied. Grenadians, value your dreams and win your way as much as five times more. With Multi-X added to playway and watch your money grow. Must be 18 years or older to play. NLA, making your dreams come true. Come, 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 come. level of convenience and comfort awaits you when you shop at Rise and Shine Supermarket and Hardware Supplies, Griffin Lane, Grenville. Convenient, because we are open Sunday to Sunday. We're even at your service on public holidays. Comfort, because we are easily accessible to the physically challenged. Free Wi-Fi is available while you shop, and bags come at no charge. Everyday low prices and excellent customer care. Adequate parking available. We supply everything you can possibly think of. Family and home supplies, fresh meat, vegetables, and personal care products. All brands of cooking gas at affordable prices. You can send in your order, have it pulled, or pick up express. When you need your prescription filled or you require non-prescribed medication, supplements, or all your personal needs, visit Gittins Healthcare at locations on Wall Street Grand Dance, Victoria Street Grand Dance, and Central Deputy Street Wall. Gittins Healthcare aims to provide an exceptional personalized pharmacy experience. Additionally, children under 5 and adults 55 years and over will enjoy 10% discount on purchases of $20 and over on prescription medication. Stop setting and for less, visit Kittens Healthcare, where your health is our priority. Life is beautiful if only you can see it. Claire Vision Eye Centre helps you do just that. We provide expert service, classy eyewear, and cutting-edge technology, all with a quality customer experience. See better, feel better, and look better. Meet us today at clairvisiongrenada.com or call 444-0055, WhatsApp 409-0055, or follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Clair Vision Eye Center. Let's see life and the world with a Clair Vision. Medical Services provides pharmaceutical services, family doctors, gynecologists and other specialized doctors, ultrasounds and laboratory services. Located on the Calivini Main Road. We're open Monday to Saturday. Call our WhatsApp 473-423-3638 or visit our Facebook page, Complete Care Pharmacy and Medical Services for more info. Complete Care Pharmacy and Medical Services. Care you can trust right here at home. Your life is yours, your future's in your hands, your body is yours, that's why you need a plan, you gotta plan your family, avoid HIV, get the education from the Grenada Plan. 
Planned Parenthood Association. We offer STI screening, gender-based violence counseling, prenatal and postnatal checks, injectables, condoms, pap smears, and other sexual reproductive services. Open Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. The Pointer Street, St. George's. Whether male or female, it doesn't matter. We're here to make your life better. Grenada Planned Parenthood Association. For appointments, call 440-3341. muscular pain that no one can find a solution for? Are you tired of taking meds for joints and other pains? Hills and Valley Medicare Center on Grenville Street, St. George is here to help you heal. We will help you map a path to your full recovery. Visit us Monday to Saturday for a consultation with our on-site doctor, physiotherapist, and massage team. You will be glad you did. Our Medicare Center, a proud member of the Hills and Valley group of companies. On the hilltop or in the valley, we are with you wherever life takes you. Hills and Valley Pharmacy, your your health is our business. Have you heard about the new Softweed bathroom tissue with Total Hygiene? As hygiene and safety have taken center stage, a bathroom tissue is now manufactured with three different technologies to offer the best protection for you and your family. UVC light technology for a safe and effective disinfection process, eliminating 99.9% .9 of microorganisms. Also, production at high temperatures, killing all types of germs and bacteria. And it's pH controlled with delicate fibers to prevent irritation for even sensitive skin. Soft Weave Total Hygiene Bathroom Tissue. Available in supermarkets and shops island-wide. Visit Soft Weave Caribbean Facebook or Instagram pages for more information. Plug into Digicel Plus and get even more entertainment with Disney Plus included. The best of Disney. Pixar. Marvel, Star Wars, and National Geographic all in one place. Whenever you want, plug into Plus to enjoy Disney Plus and much more with a home fiber bundle. Sign up today to sell Plus. Sporting fans, good evening. President of the Trinidad and Tobago Cricket Board, Asim Basarath, has welcomed the inclusion of cricket among sporting disciplines in the 2028 Olympics. Kent Fuentes spoke to Mr. Basarath. Basarath believes the inclusion of the world's second most popular sport in the Los Angeles Games is a victory for sport. This is something that I have been hearing that you know cricket and sports should be included in the Olympics from way back then. And this hearing that, that cricket and other sports have been included for the 2028 Games in, in LA, I think it's great news for sports administrators, for sportsmen and sportswomen. Um, it's 123 years they say that um, cricket was not played at the Olympics. So I think it is extremely exciting times. For, for cricket and for cricketers. While the news they have been waiting for has been confirmed, the WICB vice president believes the discussion on how it will be accomplished has to be discussed. I think there will be dialogue between the International Olympics Committee, Committee and ICC. Um, they will work out, you know, how they are going to, to get the teams to participate in, in this, this tournament. Um, of course, you cannot take um, teams... Uh, who play in cricket or, or countries that play in cricket around the world. There must be, just as what was done with the Commonwealth Games, there will be qualifying um, stages and so on. And, and you know, the, maybe the winner of West Indies, in the West Indies, the best T20 team, the winner of some tournament will be sent. He adds cricket's inclusion in the Olympics might be a spark to get more young persons involved in the sport. It is 
is a global event. It is something that people look forward to every four years. And to, to participate in a tournament of that, of that nature and that magnitude, I think it will be the dream of every young sportsman and sportswoman. So just like cricket, you know, just like cricketers, I think that, that people will want to participate. And where they can say 20 years after that, they, they participated in the Olympics. Kent Fuentes, TTT Sports. Well, ahead of the start of the CGE United Super 50 Cup, Cricket West Indies announced a major increase in prize money and bonuses for teams participating in the tournament, as well as other regional competitions, totaling more than 2.5 million US dollars over a four-year period. Cricket West Indies President Dr. Kishore Shallow declared there are exciting times ahead for cricket in the region, but still admits there is much work to be done with the international teams. He revealed new prize structures with intentions to make a more competitive on-field environment. We believe that the gap in our regional cricket and our international cricket is too wide. And in an, in an attempt to narrow that gap, we believe that if we have more intense cricket, more competitive regional cricket, that we are going to certainly in, in, um, close that gap and also improve the skill sets. The first adjustments, the regional Super 50. Previously, the Super 50 champions receive $20,000. We are now multiplying that by five, and the new price money for the winner is $100,000. This year's Super 50 sees a change in format where the eight teams play each other in a round-robin format, moving away from two groups of four. Director of Cricket Miles Bascom also noted welcome news to the regional four-day competition. The change of structure also extends to the West Indies Championship, where we will see the West Indies Academy and the CCC. And I am quite proud and happy to see the CCC back as a regular fixture in our regional tournaments. Also on the agenda in the short term is the development of two cricket academies, with one aimed to be housed at the Brian Lara Cricket Academy in Taruba. That's the sports news for now. The Bahamas government has criticized the European Union for relying on what it said is outdated information in order to keep the country on a list of non-cooperative jurisdictions for tax purposes. The EU on Tuesday named Belize and Antigua and Barbuda as the latest Caribbean community CARICOM countries that have been added to its list of non-cooperative jurisdictions. In addition, the EU added Seychelles to the list and removed the British Virgin Islands, Costa Rica, and Marshall Islands. The EU said, apart from the new additions, the other Caribbean countries labeled non-cooperative jurisdictions are Anguilla, the Bahamas, Trinidad and Tobago, and Tux and Caicos Islands. The EU in a statement said the Council regrets that these jurisdictions are not yet cooperative on tax matters and invites them to improve their legal framework in order to resolve the identified issues. But NASA said the EU's determination was based on the recommendation of the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development Forum on harmful tax practices meeting in April 2023, before many of its reforms for economic substance were implemented. 
The statement from the Ministry of Finance at the Forum on Harmful Tax Practices will meet again at the end of this month, and the government is cautiously optimistic of a favorable review. Now, the Inter-American Development Bank is urging the Caribbean to embrace digital transformation and shift to providing high-value outsourcing services. Terry and Brown Campbell has this report. Division Chief of the Inter-American Development Bank's Trade and Investment Section, Jaime Grandos, says the region must move from a managed services approach to providing technology-enabled services. He says these are more advanced segments like financial and accounting outsourcing, as well as human resources outsourcing. It is also an opportunity for growth, as the region can attract higher value contracts and clients looking for more advanced technology-driven solutions. It also encourages technology companies to establish a presence in the region, leading to knowledge transfer, technology innovation, and job creation. This shift can position the Caribbean as a hub for innovative services, leading to higher revenue and job opportunities. CARICOM's Secretariat Director of Sectoral Programs, Ambassador David Prendergrass, notes at present the regional economies are largely dependent on tourism. The service sector is among the largest in the regional economy, accounting for almost 70% of total output. Tourism in the region accounts for, in some instances, up to 90% of GDP and 32% as a simple average. Some 77% of the region's workforce is involved in the services sector. Ambassador Prendergrass says micro, small, and medium-sized businesses represent between 75 to 85 percent of gross domestic product in the region. Mr. Grandos and Ambassador Prendergrass offered their comments as they addressed the inaugural Caribbean Services Exporters Symposium on Tuesday. Terry Ann Brown Campbell, TTD News. We'll remind you of the headlines after this. This is GBN, a reminder of the headlines before we leave you. No heroes named in the inaugural National Heroes Day. Injured during the Grenada Revolution, Alexa Simon seeks help to get a new prosthetic arm. The Canadian leader calls for unity at First Canada CARICOM Summit. Also in the news regionally, the Bahamas blasts the European Union for using outdated data to place it on tax haven blacklist. Plus in the sports news, Cricket West Indies announces increase in prize money and bonuses for regional competitions. That's all from us in the newsroom on this National Heroes Day. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.